On this episode of Test Dummy Science, we are going where no other human has ever dared to venture. Inside Teddy's nose for an epic, snot-filled adventure. Ew! That's because we're experimenting with how to make Teddy sneeze on command. Dodging boogers at every turn. That's great, because my nose is chock full of boogers. We'll do whatever it takes to make the gods fly. So, who's ready to pick my nose? Woo! Sneezes can travel up to 100 miles per hour. And the mucus from your mouth can fly up to 30 feet. But you may be wondering, why do we sneeze? Well, the basic reason is to keep our bodies free from bacteria and viruses. When something goes up your nose, little sensors in your nose send a signal to your brain that your body's under attack. And your brain is having none of that. It sends signals to your body to push the bad stuff out by closing off your throat and eyes as you breathe in rapidly. So out comes the nasty stuff through your mouth and nose, sending over 100,000 germs into the air all around you. So gross. Here, hold this. I think there's another one coming. We're trying to figure out how to steer clear of a sneeze when it happens, but we can't just wait around for someone to get sick in order to do our experiment. But we can make Teddy sneeze, which is exactly what we're going to do. Hey, um. Why did you guys want me to bring in these uh, targets here? Teddy, we're going to use a variety of different methods in order to make you sneeze. From shining bright lights in your eyes, to plucking out some of your nose hair, to even having you inhale some potent spices. We'll get you to put some of this juice in your mouth and then sneeze toward the targets you brought. That way, we can measure how far and wide a sneeze can go. And how to avoid the spray the next time we're in a sneezer's <laughs> pack. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to write books about you guys someday. I hope so. Me too. Ready, Teddy? Let's do this! <laughs> in this experiment, we're going to test different ways of making Teddy sneeze. We'll put this grape juice in his mouth to see where all the mucus flies to. You know what, guys? I'll do it, but only if you hold the target. <laughs> we'll, we'll do, do it. it. Yes! 35% of people will sneeze when exposed to a bright light. This is something called the photic sneeze reflex. Scientists don't really know why this happens, but the same type of sneezing can be achieved by injecting a needle into a person's eyeball. I think we'll stick with a bright light. Oh. Ah! Ah. Ah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Pulling out nose hair stimulates nerve endings in your nose. Yeah, yeah. When one of those hairs gets pulled out, your body thinks some kind of evil germ or huge particles trying to get in, and it does its best to get it the heck out of there. That is so disgusting. That's All right. Sniffing spices like black, white, or green pepper works in the same way as pulling hairs. The nerves in your nose sense that you're being attacked. Pepper contains something called piperin, and your nose does not want that in there. So if it gets into your nose, watch out, because the sneeze of your life is coming. Out, the biggest sneeze came from the spices. Eddie, how did it feel? It was pretty weird and definitely gross. But hey, if you gotta get sneezed on, it's the way to do it, right? As you can see from the target, the sneeze sprayed everywhere. Teddy, what do you think? I feel like I want to take a nap, but I still feel like I gotta sneeze more. Oh, oh, I like this. Oh, we could have him sneezing while he's taking a nap. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, we're taking science yeah. to the next level, my friends. Teddy, let's find you some comfy pajamas. Sleeping and sneezing! Mm -hmm.